Hey, so I'm finna show y'all the best jump shots in NBA 2K20. Y'all be sure to share this with a friend who is 50 and who can't shoot, okay? I play with a lot of randoms. And as you can see, you see my streak? I do this live, okay? I am on a 92 win streak, no squad, okay? And basically all I do is shoot threes. So you know if you miss with randoms, it's over. Like they're gonna throw the game and tweak out. So I'm gonna be showing y'all all the greatest tips, badges, and jump shots to be able to hit like me. Every year I got a 96 plus win percent, okay? Shooting is the most important part of 2K, bro, okay? Please learn to shoot. Stop playing 2K without learning to shoot, bro. You will have way more fun if you learn to shoot, okay? Y'all make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications if you want more tips to become a 2K god. Okay, so first, this is a new season seven jump shot. Very easy to hit with. Nice green window. You know, something new, okay? Now I'm gonna show y'all the holy trinity and the best jump shot in 2K, okay? This is my favorite jump shot. By the way, these jump shots work for current gen and next gen, okay? This is the best jump shot in the game. Best jump shot in the game. Big build, big guard build, best jump shot in the game. Best jump shot in the game. Amazing for spot ups, amazing for big guard builds. The, it's it's just the best jump shot, okay? Best. I could take weeks off, months off, come back, hit every green, drop off randoms, and continue my no squad win streak. Getting five threes up a game on a six nine. You feel me? Moving around like best jump shot, okay? This is another immaculate jump shot. Okay, this is the second part of the Holy Trinity, man. Okay, I just show you the first part. This is the second part. These are. The most popular jump shots, just, just going through the most popular ones for y'all that don't know. Here's another immaculate jump shot, easy to hit with, very fast, all that, spot ups, whatever, you know. If other jump shots ain't working for you, you could try this. Now here's the last jump shot of the Holy Trinity. This is a great for spot ups. It's, I'm pretty sure it's faster than the Mellow. Very easy to hit with. Some people think it's the best jump shot in the game also. I don't, I think O'Shea is. So yeah, you know, test it out, chest it out. Now look, this is probably the best jump shot overall for spot ups, because you could just shoot over people, say you get a catch and shoot, you shoot, you fade backwards. So you get the least contest out of any jump shot, because you fade backwards, it's very easy to hit with, etc. So if you're like a spot up, you got a guard guarding you, you gonna have, you gonna be able to really shoot in people face, bro. Like, dead ass, like, you know? So, I mean, if you want to be a spot up, I still think O'Shea is the easiest to time, but, like, if you want to get real glitchy and say you run a dead eye or whatever, like, that Jim A. <laughs> Jim A. Now, before I show you the small build jump shots, here are my, here is my shot timing release. Very important. Put it on very late. I don't care what no one else says. Put it on very late. You will hit all your shots. And by the way, if you can't hit with certain shots slow down your speed in your jump shot okay and <laughs> the slower it is the easier it is to hit with it does not matter about fast jump shots people leave you open people are winning games off of leaving people open bro you have to be able to hit based off your skill level the slower you have to have your jump shot you're not very good you might have to rock it slower bro know yourself don't start playing till you learn how to shoot bro slow your jump shot down hit 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 then maybe you could do other stuff know yourself respect yourself okay if you barely play in all that you're casual or you're just not very good slow your jump shot down I'm telling you bro and you will you will be a god bro it i'm telling you man <laughs> R really think about all the shots that you miss or don't take how you lose, how people guard you, it's because they're leaving you open. That is how people play defense. So you have to hit. Trust me, man. Make sure y'all turn on post notes. Now, here is probably the best small build jump shot in the game. Test it out, fastest jump shot base in the game. Test it out, let me know what you think, man. Very popular base among comp players. Now, here is another immaculate jump shot for small builds. Test it out. Test it out very popular man now look if you want uh jump shots for like actual centers and stuff check out my other jump shot videos 
I'm sure I got some in there. Hit that like button, comment down below. It helps the algorithm. But hey man, also get gym rat, okay? Um, if you can't get gym rat, do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your um your stamina that will help you greatly. And then if you like buy two or one, it'll it'll help you, it'll help you get the double bar. But Again, pay to win. If you could do it out it, you could do it out it, man. I'm just letting you know how it worked, my boy. Now look, if you feel you can't hit, bro, you can turn all of this off, right? That you know there there's a lag delay and um hold on, how do I put this whole on none? You know, instead of one of these things, because they say it adds more lag delay to your to your guy. You know, it's a theory, it's not tested. But if you're struggling to shoot, you could test this out, bro. You can um like just do none. You know, you can test this out. It's up to you. I don't do it, but you could do none. You can uh you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback. They turn it off. I don't do this. But it's just more lag delay, like, taken off the game. You know, that's why people do stuff like this. They do something like this. They turn it on none. You know, but then you can't see people's names. But it's up to you bro make sure your motion blur is off okay turn it off get your sound effects right man if it's too loud too low get it right i use very late my shot time and i have it on shots only um i don't really mess with the layup thing i make sure i have my vibration on i like that but it's up to y'all make sure you turn off your trigger effect too many of y'all have your trigger effect on you old heads i hear it through your mic okay i hear your 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 controller rumbling while you're not even touching anybody like bro it's a it's a huh huh oh man you got the controller in. turn this off bro you gotta turn it off in your playstation settings too so many people don't know this you got your trigger effect on it's going to mess up your shooting bro spread the message you know these are my other settings overall um i keep this on and i keep my who to guard on by the way i see people get, keep taking off who to guard stop it does not do anything okay you take it off it's not gonna pull you less keep it on just so you're aware because everyone of the best shooting badges in general bro okay i don't have my shooting max on this build but i'm gonna just show y'all something Agent 3's is the best badge for main ball handlers, okay? The best badge, okay? Bar none. It's not just fading. It's not just pull-ups, bro. It's stopping a uh, pop. It's everything. Every shot you take while, like, moving rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, put this max bar none, bro. Okay, um, even catch and shoot when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro, because you can shoot it instantly. And like, even with the fade shot, your catch and shoot's gonna pop up, and the agent threes, and then you could catch them holes even more. Everyone is leaving everyone open, bro. Okay, like all levels, bro, like, especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that, catch and shoot, it, it changes your game completely, bro. Especially if you are bad, bro. Uh, amped, you know, eh, you know, they, they say it reduces the penalty. It, it's, it's cool, bro. Um, and then Claymore, when you spot, when, when you're spotting up, you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot. This is more for spot ups, but still, this is still a good, thing for a main ball handler you see i got it low and then the volume shooter i'm gonna eventually max out because you know it helps with every shot but 
limitless range you don't even need bro because of the limitless takeover i'm gonna show you bro look i can keep shooting from half court with this badge with the uh with the damn near seven seven what, what was my three point like a 76 three bro i can shoot from half court just with this badge on single like the single takeover and you can shoot from everywhere so you can save badge points without um even having limitless on you know it's still a good badge is it works it's it's a great badge but if you have like accelerator and just limitless you can just hit from limitless so you can save badge points and be smart i got a bunch of clips bro of uh me hitting from limitless the dead eye uh, you know it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be blinder same thing corner they say don't work some people say it do work green machine they say it activate after the third shot until i hear otherwise so it's not really as needed guard up some people say don't even work um space creator all dependent to your style and many but yeah your main badges that you want is a main ball handler, agent threes, amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume. Sh Actually, bro, volume shooter's not even like that, man. I'll put blinders even on bronze or dead eye on bronze over a uh, volume shooter, bro. I noticed no different. Clutch shooter is kind of worthless too. So, uh, and the clay yeah. Board. And then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro. You want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not too. I don't. I don't. I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really, for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is, cause they say uh, corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, bro. To be honest, now maybe uh, I don't know about this dead eye and blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's blinders. You can shoot crabs without blinders, and it be op. Like I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to uh, you know. I don't know, bro. Basically, between spot ups and um main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have clay more and catch and shoot more that's basically it bro, to, to keep it a hundred and of course these are going to be your main catch and shoot in the clay more but you want to be able to fade and sometimes the game makes you fade so you want to have this badge on still this will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need and, and click on one of these two videos but hey hey here we go again yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.